Do you work out? Okay, listen, honey. I don't think you need to know that anymore. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, then my name is Brianna Mae Bell. If you're an oldie coming back, I hope you enjoyed the come up, the remake, the remodel, the everything for that intro. I'm so in love with it. Hope you guys like it. I don't want to take any more time from you, honey. I've taken enough. We're just gonna hop into the questions. What basically brought you here should have been my VSG month one through five. I did not keep up with that, I do apologize. But right now I'm about 17 months post-op. I had my VSG surgery August 2018. It is now January 22nd, 2020. So I am officially one year in like five months post-op, if you want me to put it that way. I made a video called VSG month one through five. It is linked down below. And in that video, I basically gave you a spiel of what went down. I have a whole series on my channel about it so just pay attention to the description box I don't want to go into it too much the reason I'm using so much in my left hand is because my right is holding <laughs> my phone Whew, baby had no hair to flip but we're not gonna talk about that baby you guys have been asking me so many questions I've gotten so many comments on my last videos I'm just gonna try to touch base on as many of your questions and concerns as I can. So please give me grace if I take a while to read something because I'm just scanning it to make sure it's appropriate and it's not asking something too, too personal. I am finally 100 pounds down. I have maintained 100 pounds down for about two months now. My highest weight was 260. I am now 160 at 17 months post-op. I've been 160 for the past two, three months. I don't exactly remember when I announced it, um, but I did wait a while before I did announce it because with, you know, BSG and weight loss journeys, you kind of fluctuate up and down when you get into that very narrow tunnel. My goal weight is 150. All this will also be in the description box and it's in my previous video. The first person I'm going to shout out is Ambitious Cubana on Instagram. On September 26th, she asked me, hi, hun. Hi. I have a question. I'm considering getting VSG surgery. Was wondering how it affected your hair post-op. I heard hair loss or change in texture is a common side effect. So thank you for not being scared to be announced in the video. I hope I didn't butcher your at name. Um, baby. That is a very, very personal subject. Um, literally... After I had the surgery, in my second to third month is when I started to see the hair loss. If you go back in my VSG videos when I first announced it, you could see the curls, you could see the definition, you could tell it was healthy and juicy and mm, just scrumptious. Whereas now, my texture is only activated directly with water. Like if I'm in the shower and I'm washing my hair, my curls come out. But once I take like a towel, paper towel, whatever, and I dry my hair off, my texture depletes, like it's gone. My hair was really strong before. Versus now, it feels like it's fragile to me. And it might just be me because it's my hair, but at the same time, I have bald spots in my head, and that is also a lack of biotin. So I've started taking my biotin pills again. So I started using like Dugro and like Dugro in my scalp. I started taking biotin and hair, skin, and nail pills. And then for a while, I seen a change, and then I just I fell off again, guys. The inconsistency is real on all levels of my life. Okay, don't don't do it to me, but. Um, I did get a change in hair texture. I did see bald spots. I did lose a lot of my hair itself, like, and I still do even in the shower to this moment. And that's again, a lack of vitamins, but everybody is different, baby girl. Do not let my previous video scare you from getting the surgery. Every, every, every single person is different. Like I wear a lot of wigs now. I'm even thinking about chopping it all off and starting over just to get my hair texture back in order and let my hair really have a chance at growing. Another story for another time. But thank you for your comment. The second person I have is I am she 92. I A M S H E 92. She asked, Do I have soggy skin? Do I work out? How long is the healing process? It does it hurt. Woo! Baby. All right. Well, do I have saggy skin? Yes, because I'm not old. I don't have sagging skin, but I do have excess skin on my body and Plastic surgery is a thought that I have, and I would love it if I could afford it. So when I can't afford it, best believe mama's getting it. And it's not to look like the Instagram models. It's just to look my age, okay? I'm 25, and the sagging boobies, the extra skin, it really affects me mentally and physically. So that's something I know I want to change, even though I feel beautiful at the moment, <laughs> okay? Do you work out? Okay, listen, honey, I don't think you need to know that answer. So, <laughs> 
Last time I worked out was over a month and some change ago. Before then, I stopped working out because I've had a lot of other things going on in my life. However, I feel like I'm at a better place, hence why I'm back on here talking to you guys. I'm in a transitional period and it's a healthy, beautiful, relaxing transitional period and I feel motivated to talk to you guys again and to you know do these things with you working out I want to go back to working out I am lucky enough to have a partner my girlfriend who is on her own weight loss and substance journey I do have a gym membership I do have access to a gym so I really don't have too much of an excuse except for everything had to be in order like mind body spirit soul had to get in order in order for me to get back on here and to go back to the gym and now that I'm happy Mama's making it happen. How long is the healing process? So typically after you get the VSG, you should be able to go back to work after two weeks. And then from there, after eight weeks, eight to 10 weeks, depends on your doctor, you are eating regular food, which considers that you are mostly healed. I don't remember how long it took my incisions to heal because I didn't really pay attention at that time. I explained that down in my month one to five VSG video I did previously. Um, but it took me a while. I didn't I think they left you out of the gym for like 10 weeks. They told you don't do anything excess for 10 weeks. But um, yeah, that's what I recall. And does it hurt? The worst part of the surgery was the first week. Honestly, literally waking up was the worst pain I was in the entire time. Call me underscore May May said, how have you managed loose skin? What's your workout routine like? Okay, another thing. I don't manage my loose skin. My body's gonna do what it wants to do. When I do work out, I like the treadmill. I like the bike. I like to do legs and back the most. I absolutely do not run and I should run, but I hate running and I, mm -mm -mm, we don't do that. We incline that dang treadmill and we walk, but I will get into running in 2020. I'm claiming it. I'd have to reintroduce myself to everything now, but at least I can lift up a 20 pound weight, a 30 pound weight, and I'll feel familiar with it versus going for the bigger weights. Um, but that's my workout routine. I just did what I felt was needed for my weight loss. Um, so a lot of cardio at first. I love the leg press machine with like a passion. I also like doing the hip and ab abductors, great. But I followed a lot of Instagrammers um, to start doing my workout routine and I still have a whole like highlight in my personal saved archives of people on Instagram doing workouts that I can copy. Kimani.anaya said, did you have a meal plan that you followed before your liquid fast? No. Before I got the surgery, I was 260 pounds. When I went in to get the VSG surgery, I was 255 pounds. So I had lost five pounds in three months. I didn't really have to lose weight for the surgery just because I was already at that. If you lose too much weight, then you're not really going to need it. But if you don't lose a lot of weight, but you maintain where you are or show that you try to lose weight, like it'll be healthy for you kind of stage. So everybody is different. My meal plan didn't really exist. I was watching what I was eating. Like I cut out fast food gradually so I'll be prepared for it. I cut out like um, rice and pasta towards the last three weeks. Then I cut out like heavy meats like steak and ribs and pork and stuff like that before the process. Hope that answered your question, baby girl. I have NyXOXO underscore. She said, do you have some tips for the liquid diet stage? <sighs> Drink a lot of fluids as much as you can, a lot of fluids. So basically find a protein shake that you love. I myself did not like Ensure, but I was drinking a lot of Premier Protein. I loved Premier Protein, like the chocolate or the um, caramel, 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 whichever way you'd like to say it. I was drinking a lot of the caramel, caramel flavor. Um, after surgery, couldn't stand the taste of it. Like I could not stand Premier Protein. I still cannot stand Premier Protein, but I found something that I liked. Like I tried Ensure, I tried um, Nectar, didn't like that post or pre-op. So for your liquid diet, stick to a lot of broths, stick to water, stick to getting Gatorade or um, what is it called? Smart water into your body. Like get your get your stuff in. Okay, it's very important. Um, it's my underscore Ray Ray asked, how often do you work since your surgery? Just got mine a week ago. I'm a full time employee. I work five times a week, sometimes six if it's like a week straight, whatever. I work five to six times a week. That is normal for me, forty hours a week. Um, so 
since having the surgery, I work a lot. You do still have flare-ups. Sometimes I have a flare-up. I just had one three nights ago when my girlfriend and I went to dinner. Sometimes you'll have that moment where you ate something the night before, went to sleep and woke up and you still feel groggy, still feel disgusting, and you might have to call out of work. I do that. I have those moments. I'm trying to fight through them, but I work every day. Elise Burley, 13, L-Y-S-E-B-E-R-L-Y, 13. She asked, I'm sorry guys if I keep flipping my hair. She asked, what was the average cost of the VSG? What were the requirements for surgery? I am not gonna discuss the pricing of VSG because it's pointless, right? You will get a different price than I got because we all have different insurances. We all live in different states. Just like when people get plastic surgery, they go through different doctors in different places to get the best price, right? The price is right. But you might be coming out of pocket. I didn't come out of pocket, you know? So those things are different. Um, for myself, with my insurance, I had to go to a psychiatrist. I had to go to a gastroenterologist. I had to be tested for sleep apnea. I had to go to a cardiologist. I had to go to a psychiatrist. I think I didn't say that. So gastroenterologist, psychiatrist, cardiologist, sleep apnea testing my surgeon who went through it and I also had to get approval from my primary and my insurance company before I even laid on the table. My process took two months um, to get everything sorted away. I did it in a time when not everybody wanted to be indoors. So I had my surgery in August. I started my, I started going to the doctor May 1st. I could have got my surgery in July, but I prolonged it to August. It depends on what you are doing, my love. The Lost Cherie, or The Lost Cherry, I'm gonna go with Cherie, asked, have you noticed being treated differently? Baby girl, <laughs> baby girl, you don't even know the half. Since I've had this surgery, I have been treated the same by my friends. I've been treated the same but better by family. For dating, I think I should make a whole video, but that completely changed. I'm also in a relationship now, but that completely changed my dating life post-surgery. And if you guys want to hear about that, then you just leave a comment down below saying, girl, tell me the tea about your dating life since surgery, and I will tell you what was happening when I was single. Just for Drea said, how did you survive the first month after surgery? Baby girl. You need to watch that. You need to watch the the video before you. You you you, you got to watch that video. Like click the link. Go go back. Go back in time because in month 1 through 5, I tell you how I survived. Mm. Month 1 through 5, girl. Girl. You know what? 4 and 5 was easy, but like, woo! Month 1 through 3. I'm happy to have gone through it. Lee's underscore lessons, L-E-E-S underscore lessons underscore underscore asks me, what is the hardest part of the process? Adapting. Adapting doesn't just mean like when you first get the surgery. It doesn't refer to like you laying on the table and deciding to get the surgery. Adapting starts the moment you decide to get better with your life, to make a lifestyle change, to get healthy, right? So you have to adapt before the surgery to the idea of your life changing right? You have to adapt your schedule and your time to the process that you have to take before you even get the surgery. You have to adapt within five minutes of waking up from the surgery because they're already asking you to walk around with the weights on your legs, right? You have to adapt to the idea of people or family or friends not supporting you from the time you start to get the surgery to the time you got the surgery. You have to adapt to the way people are going to treat you, the idea that people are going to treat you differently. And then when you have the surgery, to the fact that people do treat you differently half the time, to the fact that you did lose people or you are losing people post-surgery because you are coming into your new person or coming into to yourself and being maybe more confident than you ever ever have been in life right you are constantly adapting you have to adapt to your new obviously to your new um eating habits to a weight loss regimen or a workout regimen like you are constantly adapting and even now at the stage that i am at i'm sorry if you hear the dogs in the background i am still adapting <laughs> ms underscore exclusive 001 mz underscore exclusive 001 asked me Please tell me how you lost the weight. I got a surgery. I read the rules and guidelines. I followed the rules and guidelines. I listened to my body. I listened to my doctor. I then listened to myself over my doctor's orders, and I'm happy I did. Um, and I'm still losing the weight. I still have 10 pounds to go. 
but I'm so happy that I did it. And I'm so happy even with the excess skin. Like, I'm so happy. You know, that's basically how I lost it. Thank you for your question. Thank you for your candor. Kathleen, or Kathleen, Kathleen, I think, K-A-T-H-L-Y-N dot Barbero asked me, um, well, basically said, hi, you look amazing. Thank you so much, my darling. I'm in the process of getting a VSG this upcoming year, but just wanted to ask, how long was your recovery time before you could go back to work? My recovery, my timeline, how long it took me is in that month one through five, but to answer you directly, I was out of work for almost three months. K3, Nary, so Canary, um, asked me, have you had any plastics done? Any regrets? What are your weight loss stats? Okay. Um, I want plastics done. Judge me if you must. I purposely want a mommy makeover. So I kind of want a breast augmentation, but I also want a lift instead. So I'm trying to find the most natural, but still the way that's going to give me my fuller boobs back, right? And give me a nice pushed up look. Um, mommy makeover. So basically my boobs done and my tummy tuck. That is what I really want. I don't care about the excess skin on my legs because I love having thick thighs. I don't care about them so much on my arms, but my stomach and my boobs are the areas I would love to get done. Everybody kept asking me the same thing. Okay, I have one more question left for you guys and then I am going to just talk to you randomly and then close out the video. So no face, no case VSG said, hey, how are you? I'm fine, my love, how are you? I want to ask you a question. How does alcohol make you feel? How much can you drink? So after the surgery, they, if you must drink alcohol, they ask you to wait a year. Some doctors ask you to wait six months. I literally waited till like that six month and I had my first drink. Alcohol can go to your head really, really quickly, my love bugs. Like you need to slowly drink and sip. Like Practice your sipping and then go out and drink. No double shots at all. Please, baby girl. Baby boy too. Don't, don't, don't do it. Don't do it. That was all the questions for my Instagram. So now I'm just going to talk to you guys about what's been going on outside of what I've already explained. So, yeah. I will make a video on the dating if you guys want me to. So depending on how many of you ask me, I will do it. That has changed. My outlook on life has definitely changed changed and I know it was changing the moment I laid on the table but to be very particular and bring it all 360 I can now think of things I want to do and not hesitate because of my weight I have gone to Six Flags for the first time after so many years um and I was comfortable on every single ride I enjoyed myself because I love roller coasters and it was a great experience with my girlfriend and her two friends it was awesome and we now have season passes so i can't wait to go back in the summertime i went to orlando with my friends in july of last year and i wore my first two-piece bikini outside and i felt so good in it i mean i still have a little belly but i felt so good in just low-rise bikini and like a bikini top that pushed me up it felt so good to just be able to wear it and not think of all of my roles hanging out since having the surgery i did go through depression i did go through anxiety for a period of time for things unrelated to the surgery at one point it was related to the surgery because i had a liver scare and a gallbladder scare and i do need to follow up on that so keep it posted um but other things happened and i was diagnosed with something else so that is something that took my my quality of life away for a short couple months but i got it back and i'm better than ever and i'm so excited for you guys you guys have been so supportive okay i came back to youtube then i went away again then i came back again and you guys have been growing like the love bugs you guys have just been manifesting and growing so well and now there's so many of you and we're so close to 10,000 and you know what we're gonna motivate each other and we're gonna love each other and I'm so sorry that I'm so bad at responding on Instagram and YouTube like I know I am I know I am I'm I'm social but I'm anti-social in some ways I love you all I want you to be safe, be happy, and of course, of course, above anything else, be you. Be true to yourself. If you are new here, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Make sure you like because it does help me. Tell me down below what you think, what you are thinking. If you have any more questions, I will do another VSG video on dating. So if you have any questions related to that, just ask them away. I will see you guys in my next video, probably about this hair, honey. Bye.